one of the nice things, and I use the term nice in a fairly flexible way, about living next to a canal after having lived at the seaside and being a bit of a beach coma, living next to a canal, you don't have to go beach combing because stuff floats past you. And you just drag it out. An example. <laughs> Beer case. I don't know why. Well, actually, I do know why because someone told me why. Um, beer case, empty beer cakes, sadly, uh, end up in the canal quite a lot because pubs who are tied to their brewery um, go and buy them from places uh, to make profit to avoid having to buy it from the brewery, stuff like that. Anyway, something like that. Um, and then they dispose of the evidence afterwards. Uh, <laughs> apparently so anyway bottom we have uh, i i put these to great um wonderful creative use i'll show you this is our sign <laughs> which was one of the first things i did uh with the plasma cutter legally and technically, these are still the property of the brewery. Now, what I used to do, as I will do occasionally now, but it's pointless, was send them a, uh, a text or an email, and a couple of times I phoned up, saying, I've got some, uh, I've got some beer cakes which I've pulled out at Canal. And... With the best will in the world, these are expensive. They're really good stainless steel. They're ever so well made. But the response I got was, well, so? I said, well, take one of them back. They said, ugh, not after we've been in a canal. And then I was told, if I take them out of the canal, they're classed as industrial waste. Can you believe that? They're industrial waste. They're not. These, then, are going to be our new brewery. Mmm. How much fun is that going to be, boys and girls? Uh, so for a brewery, you need three receptacles. You need something, what's called HLT, hot liquor tank. You need a mash tun, which is where you put your grains. And then you need a boiler, where you boil it all up and make the watt. Then you cool it down, bung it in a fermenter with some yeast and then wait about three weeks. And that's how you get your beer. Well, then you need to let it condition, obviously. So I thought we'd make our own proper pucker pickle brewery. And, uh, yeah, what could possibly go wrong there? Anyway, oh, by the way, what I said to various different breweries, depending on who they are, because they're all from different ones, uh, was... I'll store them for you. If you don't collect them in six months, I'll claim them as mine. I actually said that to someone on the phone once. He said, look, don't bother, mate. He said, just bloody have it. He said, well, yeah, for the hassle of collecting it. I said, well, I can drop it off to you. He said, no, we don't want it. Not after it's been in the canal. Too much. And I thought, well, you know. And, and realistically, you know what? People have some very strange ideas about canals. The water in here even though it has no flow, it's actually very clean. We have water lilies grow, and water lilies don't grow where it is dirty water. Um, and I've swum in here before. I always keep my sandals on because there's loads of metally bits and broken glass and that in there. Um, you can almost walk across it, actually. Um, but uh, it's this not really what I would class as being toxic. It used to be, many years ago, the Sheffield Canal was the most toxic bit of water on the planet because everything went into it. Animal waste, industrial waste, human waste, everything. And they used to say, if you fell in the canal, just hope to God that you got crushed by a boat and killed or drowned or whatever, because if not, you'd die within um, a few months of what you caught <laughs> after having fallen in. So it really was foul. But now, clean as anything. So I haven't got a problem, really. And the plants don't seem to mind. They seem to like it. 
but I haven't got a problem using these for our brewery. So watch this space. I ought to mention um, that it was this photo that set me on the idea of using some of these beer cakes uh, to make a microbrewery. And I should also mention that two of the main websites, I think I have mentioned this, and I will mention it quite a lot more, uh, that I've found inspiration from has been Harry Brew 69 and New to Home Brew Tom on the YouTube. I'll put links to all of them underneath in the description. So this is going to be an interesting journey. If you'd like to join me on this interesting journey, please feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel. Is there a boat coming? No. Not sure what they're doing. I think they're just moored there. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yes, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this rubbish, click like, because it boosts my ego a little bit. Especially when my ego's really low, because I've got boat painting to do as well. I don't want to be boat painting. I want to be doing other things, brewing and stuff. Anyway, enough nonsense, Bailey. Shut up. Let people get on with their lives. Please feel free to subscribe and like. That'd be lovely. Back soon.